Hello, it is me again, Sophia Nash of Sophie's Record Gaming Corner. I am the host of Sophie's Record Gaming Corner, and you know my bag, Charles Nash. Yep. And today we're playing the new Metroid game. Metroid Dread from the Nintendo Switch. Mm -hmm. So, this game actually just came out here um, a couple weeks ago, yeah. uh, right before Christmas. And Sophie's actually been in taking a little bit of a break here because it was school and everything, but the game came out, so we wanted to play the game and show everybody, and Sophie's going to see if she can wreck it. Uh-huh, and we're not going into any other worlds right now because the other worlds have, like, um, bosses and robots. So basically, this kicks off from the last Metroid game, which was, um, I believe, uh, where... Samus was fighting her, uh, her her evil twin self. It was, uh, it was a clone. Yeah, it was like it a, was a, dark a, a, a dark Samus. So um, the story picks up there at the beginning of this game. And you get sent in to fight more of these alien creatures that you're after in the game to try to annihilate. And you get stripped of your powers by this guy that looks like a, I don't know, like a, ro a robotic falcon. And there's these other robots that's in the game, and each one of them is actually pretty powerful. You can't really hardly even hurt them. Um, and you have to acquire these um, Omega Cannon Blasters. So we're going to go ahead and show everybody. Let Sophie see if she can wreck it. She hasn't had a lot of time on this game, and neither have I. Yeah, so. my dad's been training me about so, this. Yeah, I've played Metroid. She has not. This is her first time, so... We're going to go ahead, yes. we're going to turn out the lights so we get a better glare off the TV a little bit so everyone can see Metroid Dread. Yes. So let's go ahead, we're going to get the lights off, Sophie, I will give you the control. Oh, and we'll show everybody what Metroid Dread looks oh, like. Uh, the lights. Okay, so people, if you want to know how to shoot, you hit, oh, that bees jump. Why shoot? And a mega cannon does this. It shoots. Ah! Ah! Dang it! So, it's really fun. This game's pretty fun. You can shoot games. Okay, I'm in the. I don't know why. So, these are save stations. Right, okay. And these are your power ups. I'm powering up. Mega. So, Sophie, why don't you show them your power cannon? Oh, you mean this? Oh, yeah, come on. we'll show them the different abilities. So, we we have different... And to tell, um, you head up here and then it shoots where you want it to go. For some reason, we're like, we're trying to like get past this level. Got up here. Ow! Ow! See if Sophie can make it past. So, so far, the, the, the enemies in these games are actually pretty challenging. Um, Sophie's getting killed right now, so she's she's going to wreck it. Power up, or you're going to get blasted. I'm leaving this room. Oh, wrong way. You can go that way, it's fine. No, it'll take you to a different world. Up here. Okay, so like dad already beat the like um, yellow thing and we do not know how to get up there. It's like pretty difficult. Oh how okay, till um, there. Ow What the heck? Going back in here, I'm turning I'm like going a different way. Ow I can't even get up there. How do we get up there? You can jump. I'm trying. You just haven't hit the wall. There it goes. I'm trying to like get up there. I don't know how to get up there. Same way, just jump. You gotta time it right. There. Okay, in here, don't worry about those guys. So, being a new game for the Nintendo Switch, this is actually a pretty graphical game. Um, I know it's kind of hard in here with the lighting, but we tried to set it up to where we get the best lighting a little bit so everyone can see it without glare. But as you can see, 
the game itself is, is pretty pretty graphical for a Metroid game. Ow! <clears throat> this always um, happen. I always get shoot by those things. Oh. Probably one of the better ones in the years that I've played. Got it. And it looks like Nintendo and the company that made this actually took quite a bit of time. Okay, so if you want to see something pretty cool, ready? Okay, people, ready? Turn into Tiny Tim, you turn into a bowl. And then you can go through tight spaces. That's how you get through stuff. And that's how you shoot stuff. I don't know how many walls we have. So, Sophie, what would you, um, what would you rate this game? I would call Out it, like... 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, and sort of graphics and play. 10. Okay, what about, uh, for a first-time player playing this game, 1 being the easiest, 10 being the worst to play? Um, I call it, you know, about, um... You know, like a six because it's kind of hard at first. Because like, I never like it's like hard with those ball things coming around. They keep shooting at you. So you say that the Dang you it. say that the enemies are pretty hard. So Sophie just got killed. So she because her. because by accident I hit something. I hit a bomb by accident. A bomb blowed me up for some reason. Something was like attached to me and it blowed me up. Good thing my save right here. Okay, Dad, where? Okay. I'm going down here. Ah! I hate those things! Ow, 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 ow. So as you can see, Sophie has not put a lot of time into this game because this is fairly new for her. She's had it not even a week yet. Coming out of Christmas, so. I mean, we've unlocked some things, me and Sophie. We fought a couple bosses. But the biggest thing in this game is by far the robots. They are... Boss battles, you gotta be precise with them because they kill you in one hit. But it's it's imperative that you have to face them. You, you can't run from them. Um, Dad, I can't get back up there. You gotta go to the other side, Sophie. Great. How do I get up back up, up there? Up there. I'm trying. I'm almost dead. Uh, that I don't know. You should be able to get up there. Jump and hit, uh, I think it's Y or B to do your dash. But you gotta kill that thing. What the? And you gotta, you gotta kill that thing, or you're gonna. Get... So, as you can see, Sophie's wrecking it. You think I should just die? No. Right I'm trying. Ow! I can't even shoot that Jump thing. Jump up and hit your dash button. I'm trying to kill this thing. Just jump up, or you're gonna get killed. It's gonna wreck it. And Sophie's a goner. I don't know why! It's just very hard. It's just very hard. Alright. Well, that is Metroid Dread for everybody. We Please. haven't showed them Dash. Have we shown them Dash yet? Yeah, they've seen it. And besides, we don't want to give everything away. So, yeah, I would say for me personally, since I'm a Metroid fan, uh, a good game. Um... I would give it probably a six for to easy to play, so it's kind of difficult. I said six. I would give it a I would give it a nine though for as probably one of the better games that Nintendo has come out with here recently. So again, I am Charles Nash, Sophie's dad, and I am Sophia, and he's from political theater. Yeah, I'm from political theater as well. I have my own website as well and show. So, But we'd like to thank everybody for watching and uh, stick around here. We'll be back again to review and play another game with Sophia. We'll see you next time. Bye! All right. Bye.